And I'm joined by a colleague of mine. I'm very excited. His name is Valentine Ohu. He is an on-air personality on Smooth FM. He's also the MD CEO of Loose Media. And today he is my guest. He's not going to be asking the questions. I am going to be asking him the questions. <laughs> we'll switch tables, so, eh? Okay, so let's switch tables. Yeah, it's fine. So uh, how are you? I'm very well, thank very you. Very nice to meet you. Very nice to meet you. Come uh, on, you're my sense. Oh, oh, hello, <laughs> hello. <laughs> how are you, Valentine? I'm very well, thank you. First of all, yes. um, you do amazing work. Congratulations on all thank the amazing you. work that you thank do. But you very I'm very interested in how all of this journey as a media personality, how it all started. Was it something I always like to ask this question because many people tell you, ah, I stumbled into it. So mm. I will tell you, I knew I was going to be an on-air personality for mm. my mother's home. Mm. Singers that do that. I was singing for my mother's home. Was that your story? <laughs> <laughs> no, my story, my story was yeah, kind of similar. I didn't know from the womb, but I knew uh, when I got very curious about information. So I was a voracious reader from um, young, a young age. I always read everything on print. So I see newspapers, I pick up the clips, I flip through adverts, I read all the pieces. Was that something that you were naturally born with? Or was it something that your parents It's something I you? grew into. Um, my dad was an, a mathematician. You know, my both parents retired civil servants. They were teachers in school, lecturers and everything. So I had libraries, you know, at my disposal, a library of books, encyclopedias. So I was always reading stuff, yeah. Okay. I started. So when you when you went to school, did you end up studying something media related? No, apparently not. So <laughs> <laughs> my first degree was in mathematics and computer science. Yes, no kidding. oddly so. And but it all came together eventually. So right after school, I, I loved numbers. Um, ironically, because I mean, initially I, I loved literary work, so I was always reading stuff. But I, I started loving numbers uh, first because my dad bullied me into liking numbers because I was a mathematician. And then it became a passion. So it became something that got, you know, picked my interest. Uh, but when I graduated, uh, before I graduated, like my second year, I got a flair for media. So I knew that that was where that passion for reading and everything was about curiosity, in my curiosity for information. And I started interning at a radio station, was Radio Nigeria at the time. And I grew into that. The show I anchored it was It's My Life for about two, three years. And I got so good at it that I enjoyed it. It became a, a favorite pastime. When I graduated, I naturally got a job into a mainstream radio station. Radio Nigeria was mainstream. I got the best training there. And then I got a first job immediately I graduated at Rhythm 93.7 then. And then did that for five years and got into Cool FM, <laughs> worked with Cool for two years. And then Inspiration FM and now Smooth. You were in Nigeria for at some point, right? No, cool. Okay, it was cool. Yeah, yeah. Okay. the Good Morning Nigeria show. Oh, wow. Yeah. Now, look at you. You've, you've <laughs> gone around, you know, yeah. you, you are a very uh, well-exposed yes, yes, on-air personality. Yes, yes, What was your, did you have to do any audition at any point? Or it was from your internship? That it you was did? my internship, yeah. So my audition, uh, my first audition, it was in 2005. Was at, it great? At Radio Nigeria. So my audition was live. I didn't know. I had no idea. I thought they took me into a production studio. And they said, you know, show us what, what you can do. Look at that script in front of you. And the script was for the show. And I started going through the script, and I decided to get comfortable. My mouth was so dry. I was gasping for air. But I ended up speaking to millions without knowing it. And by the time I was done, after 30 minutes, people started calling me. My phone was buzzing. And everybody was saying, ah, but we heard your voice. And I'm like, who set me up? <laughs> But that was a very, I, I got thrown in the deep end. And you swam, you didn't, you didn't drown. No, no, I didn't drown, yes. Let's talk about your journey through radio. Mm. Um, what would you say are some of the things that have been the biggest challenges you've had to encounter as an on-air personality? Uh, biggest challenges, you know, having to multitask. So I had to grow, you know, the hard way to multitask. Radio teaches you to, um, you know, explore your abstract sense. You're able to imagine what the other person is feeling and relate to that feeling through communication. So radio is beautiful. I always tell people, before you get into TV, you have to experience radio so you'll be able to you know, explore those sides of your brain uh, where you get to talk to somebody you can't see and appeal to their emotion without necessarily seeing them and they can't see you. Um, radio gives you a chance to speak to millions of people that you've never met in life. Uh, from my shy side, that was an advantage because I didn't... <laughs> I you, know know to see you. <laughs> you know, so I go, I can, I can finish a radio show right now, go into the streets, I can climb one Okada, go to any shop, and nobody knows who I am until social media. Yeah. Um, but yes, it's, it's, it's been good. It's been good. And it helps me. Radio consistently um, it refreshes my memory, refreshes my sense, uh, my grasp with current affairs, and 
a little knowledge about everything. As How well. do you deal with the days when you're not up for work? Because I know I've experienced them a lot of the time. Wow. And I've witnessed you in one. Yes. You were really sick, but you had to be on radio. Oh, actually, just last Thursday. Yes, just last Thursday. <laughs> I, was, I, was, I was barely able to get out of bed. But because I thought to myself, okay, um, I just did a mental calculation about, uh, you know, for how many people will be in the studio and the amount of work that needed to go into, you know, that day's job and the broadcast, and I thought, okay, you know what, Val, this is what you do. You should actually just steal yourself and go uh, do your four hours and, you know, get out. And it starts at, my day usually starts at 3.30 every, every morning. I wake up, you know, get into radio, I get to my office at 5 o'clock, do all the research an hour before the show starts, and then straight into it. So the bulk of the work is actually done off air. Okay, yes. I'm, I'm really glad you mentioned that because mm -hmm. many people say, oh, as a TV presenter or uh, radio presenter, well, you look just, easy. Uh, you just stay in front of camera and put on my camera. It's all glitz and glamour. You just smile. Just eh? talk. People are having fun. You Please, listen to music. Let them know that this work they is all work, The major work is uh, 20 hours. And then uh, the other four hours that you spend dishing out information is just, you know, the output uh, from what you've actually researched and all the work you've done. Uh, preparing the shows, you know, anticipating the um, uh, current, like, you, I mean, getting up to date with information as it develops and staying ahead of, of the news and, and then getting in, prepping guests, sending emails, all those correspondence and everything is very interesting. But would you trade that for anything? No. Which is why I'm doing it right now. So, um, fast forwarding to now, to today, everything else that I've ever experienced, all the, all the training I've got all through my life, now makes sense. So it's, it's such a great time I am experiencing right now, uh, managing loose media with all the streams of, you know, the, all the channels of, of the products of uh, birthed from loose media, the loose convo, loose audio, loose television, loose chat, exploring different ways to stimulate conversation, unorthodox conversation that Nigerians are not having is what we're doing and expressing through loose media. So when I get off radio every single morning from Smooth FM on my breakfast show, I, I go to Loose Media, get with my team, interact, and just chat up on all the, the current affairs and see how we can actually get Nigerians to think outside the box. So we see a lot of information that's spread out there. Some of them are very distracting, you know, pushes you away from the core of the information that you're actually mm -hmm. supposed to be focusing on. So it's our job to ring you back in to get you to think you know, beyond what you just see, beyond the noise. Is there space on the media? Is there space on radio for more people? Because I'm sure you're inundated with DMs every time telling you, please, I want oh, you yeah. to mentor me. I want I'm to be yeah, I'm, I'm an aspiring broadcaster. I'm an aspiring broadcaster. Yeah, you see a lot of all those bios now on Instagram. So exactly. Yeah? I'm going to ask you two, it's, it's a twofold question. Okay. One, for the aspiring on-air personalities, well, what would you say to them? But that'll be the last one. Mm. But first of all, is there space? Or should they just go and try other things? Like There's always space. I mean, your mobile phone that you use right now to take pictures, you can do so many things with that. That's your TV station. That's your radio station. I tell people right now, terrestrial radio and TV is phasing out. But the ones that are actually stay in the head are people that are taking advantage of digital space. So Loose Media is a digital uh, media agency. So exploring uh, content creation, uh, creative conversation, getting people to think. And what is the channel? The phone. So if you're actually right now on this TV station and you're... <laughs> <laughs> Look at like that. Yeah. So you saw that picture because it was posted on Instagram. And so having to uh, do all this cross connection with <laughs> different, you know, different media that's available right now, all the different social media platforms that are available right now, if you cannot sync all that, all those channels together, you're not broadcasting very well. So if you're out there and you're listening to, uh, you're watching this and you're wondering, how can I get into this space? Is there space just like you ask? Yes, the space is right there with you. Broadcast. Give value. People want to learn every day. I agree. Why do you think how-to videos are the most sought-after videos on I, YouTube? I even noticed that even with content creation on social media, mm. people don't want to just, they, they want to follow you for a reason, not just because they know you. Exactly. So I find that the posts that I get the most traction on are the posts that are educating them. I remember doing a post about rape and I cannot count the number of reshares that I yes. got from that post yes. because I'm telling you these are the information and the facts you need to know about rape. Yes. So people want information. People mm -hmm. are hungry for information. Mm -hmm. So like Val said, there's always space. Mm. Go out there and create videos. In the words of Tyler Perry, don't don't try to fit into other people's table. Thank you. Make your own create table. Yours. Create yours. Create yours. People want to see the real you. People want to listen to the real you. People are tired. Social media is not created for artificial folk. Social media is actually created for real human beings with real emotions, with real conversations, right? Yeah. So people don't want to watch you or listen to you say things, replicate things that Maraji has said or Files the Bad Guy has said. 
They actually want you to show your real self. Quick if you're one, goofy, though. yeah. For radio, lots of people have argued that on-air personalities all have a foreign accent. Hey. And some people tell you that we, you hear aspiring on-air personalities already trying to fake an yes, accent. Yeah. What's your take on the accent thing? So my own understanding of what a real good accent is. A foreign be, accent is what hey. a lot of people want to have to Please. be able to be on radio. That's what they call phone. Eh? <laughs> <laughs> Let me tell you, a lot of people actually on radio right now, right now that you're watching me, speaking in very foreign tongues. And most of the time, you wouldn't make out half of what they're saying. It's because it's not natural. When you sound good on radio, it's because you pronounce every word clearly. Good diction is what sells. Good diction is what people want to listen to. You don't to. think that Nigerians do, Nigerians like or naturally gravitate towards foreign accents? It's a flair. It's something that's attractive, but it's temporary. It vanishes after a, a short time. Yes, people run after it. They feel like it's nice. It's something, mm, something fancy. Oh, yeah, I'm on radio. This is blah, blah, blah. It's me. Yeah. But after a while, you, you, you stumble over your words, and you would not make sense. You start, you know, you would not you wouldn't actually make sense out of the communication that you're trying to pass across. But if you... Imagine you're a foreigner, right? And you land on the shores of Nigeria, or you just, you know, your, your flight touches ground, and you get into Nigeria, and you tune to a radio station. What do you want to hear? I want to hear them speaking. You like... want to get the feel of a Nigerian accent. Somebody telling you, welcome. Ah, guy, how far? That is what radio should be. That's how people should sound wherever you go. So if you go to America, you hear somebody, you know, with a slurred accent, and then you come back to Nigeria after a day, and then you have American accents. Who are you fooling? So, in other news, mm. um, young aspiring broadcasters should not, first of all, be concerned about working on developing a foreign accent. No. Because I've had people ask me that no. question about, oh, do I need to have a foreign so accent? So, it's, it's about perspective. What matters is the information that you're given. Focus on the information. Focus on the quality on con of content and not on the way you sound. That is misplaced priority. The priority should be on the content. I mean, we know on. some on-air personalities that have absolutely zero polished accents. But their shows are doing really well because people like the content that they're dishing out. For how long? So, sorry? For how long? No, they're, they're, not, they're not speaking like they don't have a, a foreign accent is what I'm trying to say. Mm. But their content is great. Yes. So people like, like listening yes. to them. Yes, yes, yeah. yes. Those okay. are the ones that, they get, that get attention. We, we've dealt with that. Final thoughts or final words mm -hmm. to young people who want to carve a niche for themselves in the media space. Those who want to be on-air personalities mm. like you. Mm. What would you say to them? I would say follow your dreams. Um, if you feel like you want to be on radio just because you see somebody getting 5,000 followers on Instagram because he's on radio, that is the wrong reason to be on radio. Uh, so ask yourself, do I really love information? Do I really love to share value? Uh, do I have a flair for people? I'm a shy person, so it's, uh, almost, it almost sounds counterintuitive that I'm on radio and I'm talking to people, I'm the public personality. But the thing about it is I'm a bit of an ambivert. So when I get on radio and I'm not seeing anybody's face or I'm on TV right You're now and I'm talking, ah, yeah, 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 I'm in my <laughs> elements and I'm talking. But after here, I go, wah, 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 and I'm driving home. Well, if you want to see <laughs> Valentine in his elements when yes. he's not on TV, how can people follow you? On Instagram at Valentine Ohu. My surname is O-H-U, simply spelled. So Valentine Ohu, one word. Uh, okay. That's it, yeah. All right, so your, all your other social media platforms? At Luz Media. Okay. Luz Media is at Luz Convo, at Luz Television, Luz Audio. All right, thank you so much for joining us, Valentine. Thank you. Thank you. To enjoy more of this, our Ugonke videos when you just watch, press this button to subscribe on top of our YouTube page. You go love her.